Okay guys, I promised you guys to show you how to make that soup. And that soup was months ago, so I'm going to make some soup for you. And I'm at the supermarket. I'm getting the stuff that I need for the soup. Here you get some potatoes. Have some edo, some yuca. Then got all the stuff that I need. Whatever I need, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna show you. So stay tuned. So I'm now gonna get my meat for my soup. I'm going to get some chicken foot, some chicken, some beef. But you whatever meat you wanna put in soup is optional. You can put whatever you wanna put. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna get some beef over here. Oh, so this beef I'm going to get. Everything I need for the soup. We got tripe, beef, chicken, chicken foot, potatoes, edos, yams. We pretty much got everything. I'm, so I'm going to go home. I'm going to show you guys the step-to-step -step process of the soup. We got plantains. I'm going to get some flour to make some um, duck or some you guys may call it, but they call it hopping. That, that duff thing. Anyway, bye. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to Anna's Kitchen. I'm finally back in the kitchen. I know I've been missing for a long, long time. But today is the day. I'm back and I'm dressed for the occasion and you guys will see me. I've been so busy throughout the past couple of months doing a lot of stuff. And um, I know you guys have been waiting for this soup. That soup that I um, showcased, that soup was months ago, and I didn't record it. So today, it's now 3.30 a.m. Saturday morning. I'm going to make this soup for all my viewers who have been asking me about it, and I'm going to post it for you guys to see. Now, let me show you guys exactly the meats that you, you would need for the soup. Some of them are optional, but this is a traditional Guyanese type of soup. Some people might disagree. But, um, Growing up, my, my parents, I see my parents make soup every single Sunday in the Guyanese culture. We eat soup on Sunday. I never liked soup growing up, I'm not going to lie. I hated soup, it was just like watery and, but now I'm older, I realize it's a lot healthy for you and now I'm starting to cook my own meals. I can add my own twists and my own flavors that would be suitable to my palate. But let me show you guys how I'm going to make this soup today. Excuse me if I'm talking a little draggy. I went to the dentist yesterday and my jaw is still paining me. So let's go. Now for this particular soup, I have some tripe. This is some tripe. Alright. Um, I have some beef. Wanna get your beef? Chicken foot. Chicken foot is a must in the soup. Unless you don't want it. I'm gonna clean all these meats. Season them. I'm gonna show you. I have some chicken here. Right, you can have any type of chicken you want. Chicken breast, chicken legs, cut them up. I'm going to cut these up a little smaller. And I've never put smoked turkey in my soup, but today I'm going to put some smoked turkey for some additional flavors. So, let's get started. I have one pack of split pea, right? Normally I like to cook soup in a big pot. But, um, I don't have the pot that I normally use, right? I normally use a big pressure pot. Because it's huge and I like a lot of soup because there's a lot of stuff that's going to go in there. I'm going to use, this is a size pot that I'm going to use. Let me show you guys. I'm going to use this pot right here. So it's a normal size pot, big enough, but I like just a larger pot. Depends on how much soup you're making, right? In this small pot here, I have some water boiling there as you can see. I'm going to take half of this with pea and pour it into the water. I'm going to pour half into this water. And I'm going to save the next half. Alright? You don't need this until you want to cook again. So my split pea is going to cook in there until it's very soft. I'm going to show you. Just add that first. This is the first part of the soup. Just add that. Leave it. And you can go, go on to the meat. Alright, we're going to go and start cleaning these meats and I'm going to come back to you guys and show you how I'm going to clean my meats and all of that. So I have my chicken foot here. I know my chicken foot is kind of looking weird and probably gross to some people because they have nails and all that. 
But you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut off the ends of these chicken foot. Alright? Just cut the ends off and you put it in a bowl. And you do that. So all my chicken foot is finished cutting. I've cut the tip off of these chicken foot. I'm just gonna put some vinegar on them to rinse them. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna put vinegar on these here to so that I can rinse out the rankness of the chicken foot and wash them. I'm gonna show you guys everything. This soup is not go gonna be one of those 30 minute meals, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna take a little time, but most of the time comes in prepping. If you prepare all the stuff, cut up in meats and everything ahead of time, it's going to save you a lot of time. But I wanted to show you guys every step. I don't want to sh um, shortcut you. I don't want to just, I want to show you guys everything. So just bear with me. I'm going to put some vinegar. That's just to wash out any rank. And I'm going to do the same with the chicken also. I'm going to put the chicken right in here along with the chicken foot. I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to move on to my chicken now, right? I don't really care for the skin. Cut, it, cut them in small pieces. This size is good. Because you don't want them too big also. This chicken is very bony because it's for the soup and the main ingredients in soup is just the flavors from the broth and all, all that. So it's not really like a chicken thing where you would eat some fried chicken, you know, this is just a flavor and you want to taste all the additional stuff. Just want to keep cutting the chicken. Any excess fat, you just want to clip, clip that off. While dealing with chicken, it's important to wash your hands, okay? Because there's a lot of bacteria in these chicken. I advise anybody to wash their hands before and after dealing with this chicken. So here I have it. This is a chicken and the thing. I'm just going to add some salt in here and mix it up. Let it sit and then I'm going to wash it out and start seasoning it. salt. So the reason I just added the salt and the vinegar into the chicken and the chicken foot because I don't want any rank smell or any rank taste you want to cut all of that out. So in the guy in this culture that's how we do it. We normally add some vinegar and salt or lime and salt and it works good. I'm, I just added my lime and the vinegar and everything here. I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit before I wash it up. And start to season my chicken and show you. I'm enjoying cooking this food right now. All this is probably about 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm enjoying it. I'm not going to lie. Just preparing everything. Because I know you guys have been waiting on this meal for a long time. And I'm going to tell you something after this video that happened to me in terms of YouTube um, goals. Because a lot of you guys know I was getting paid because I'm a YouTube partner. I have three partner channels on YouTube. And this kitchen, and this TV, and this list. This place was my very first channel on YouTube. I created that channel in 2007. I'm going to tell you why. I have an onion here, some garlic, just need about two cloves of garlic, right, two cloves, you don't need too much, but two cloves, 
set it aside. I'm going to take a grater and grate my onions. Should I grate about a quarter? Right? It's like a puree. You have it like a puree, you put it into the beef. I wash my beef. Put that into the beef, right? Put that into the beef. I have some dried thyme. I have some dried thyme in here. Let me show you guys this. Sprinkle my thyme. It don't matter how much thyme you want to use, you know, you just want to put enough. Some paprika. If you don't have black paprika, use paprika. Or you could just use paprika. <laughs> Alright. I want to show you guys exactly what I'm using. But you don't have to use none of these stuff. You could use normal salt. But I just like all the flavors of the various um, seasonings. Now, right? I put that in there. This here is like... I brought this back from Guyana. Something called cas rip. But you could use a little bit of soy sauce. Put it on the beef. And I'm going to open this ketchup. I'm going to open the butter ketchup. And I'm going to pour it over here. About a couple of teaspoons. You want to take your hands and mix all these seasoning in here, right? Mix everything in. Everything. Just mix it up. Look at it. You want to make my hands is clean, so you know. You mix everything in there. I'm gonna wash my hands now and grate some ginger. Have some ginger. I'm not gonna use all of this. I'm just gonna use a smaller portion. Get some ginger. Now. The reason I'm using ginger because the flavor is really good. The flavor on meats, ginger and chicken, fish, anything is good. All right, you just want a flavor. This soup is about flavor. See, just a little bit of ginger. Not much, just like a teaspoon. All right, and then you mix that in. And I'm just gonna let this marinate. If you have chopped garlic, you could put it in here. I'm gonna just dice the garlic and put it in here. Right. I'm just gonna let have this here for about five minutes. So I have my pan here, right? This pan is getting warm. I'm gonna put some oil. Oh man, I made a mess. I'm gonna put some oil in there. I'm not really gonna edit this video much. But look at the mess I made. The oil right there, okay. Put some oil, right? And when that's heated, I'm gonna take my beef over here. Another two minutes until that's heated. I'm pouring the beef into there. I'm not gonna pressure this beef at all, but you could pressure it. Or what I would do is put it in a crack pot, get it a little tender. But I'm just gonna fry it up in this oil. All right. Now there's not a whole bunch of oil in this pan, right? But I'm just gonna take the beef right now and put it in here. Want to take everything. Let that beef cook, and I'm gonna come back and show you. Now, right? For our chicken. 
Now remember that chicken that we had earlier? That I wash it. I'm gonna season the chicken exactly the same way that I season the beef over there. So I just do the same exact thing to the chicken that you see me do for the beef. Grate the onions. I didn't put no garlic in the beef, but I'm gonna put the garlic in the chicken, alright? Smash your garlic up, mince it up, and you season it with all basically salt, pepper, a little thyme, some soy sauce, whatever. Just a little bit. Alright? And the flavor is gonna come from the onions, the thyme, the ginger. It's gonna flavor this soup in ways that you can't even imagine. Alright? Now for the smoked turkey. Um this is already pre cooked. Right, because this is smoke. I never use smoked turkey, so I'm trying to defense, trying to figure out if I should go with it. I know it's going to taste good, that's not the thing. Or if I should just leave it traditional, you know. I'm not sure yet. This is tripe. I'm just going to cut this into some smaller pieces. And before I forgot to tell you guys that I had cow heel or cow foot. Um. I was going to show you that with all my meats, but while while I was sleeping before I started to cook, my mama started boiling it. Boiling, ah, she started boiling it on the fire. This is cow here right here. Because she boiled it, it's already soft, and the water is kind of looking like milky or starchy. But all this is going to add to the thickness of, of the soup. See this? This is already soft. It's cow here. This is how it looks. See, it's soft. This is it. And it tastes good. So I have the chicken here and the chicken foot, right? I'm going to take the chicken foot now, right? It's seasoned in the same seasoning, but not as dark. And just pour it over into the beef. I know how that's going to cook. And then I'm going to leave my chicken so that I could marinate. Put that in the corner. Wash my hands. I'm a one man army here. I'm the videographer, the chef, the video editor, everything. It's just me alone. So it's going to take me a lot more time. Because I have to stop, fix the camera, set the camera. And I just doing this because I know you guys want to learn. Some of you guys want to learn to cook these kind of meals. Right? I have some, um, some cow foot in here. Some cow heel. I can't remember if it's cow heel or cow foot because my mom opened a pack. I think it's cow foot in here, right? It, it's already pretty much soft. I'm going to put the beef the same beef right here with the chicken foot and everything over here in about five minutes or five to ten minutes and over there I cut up the tripe this is beef tripe right cut it up like this and I have some smoked turkey I didn't use all the turkey I'm gonna put it but I just want to flavor it so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the smoked turkey so at this point now I'm gonna take the tripe right my trap is right here. I'm, I'm going to pour it over with the cow food that's boiling over here. Everything is going to get happy in that pot. It's going to come to a boil. Everything has to eventually be in the same pot. Alright? So don't stress. Don't fight. So I'm going to cover this for a little bit. Cover that down for a little bit. Everything is going to go in here. I love all my viewers. You guys are awesome. Alright guys, these are my provisions I'm going to use for my soup. I have some sweet potato, right? But this is an American version. Um, it don't matter. Some potatoes. I have two large potatoes. How much of these stuff you want to use is up to you. These are called edos. Right? These are all edos. And these are sweet plantains. This is also cassava. In America, this is known as yuca. 
but in Guyana it's called cassava C A S S A V A so um, I'm just gonna peel these here and prepare them the way I would these still gotta get a little tender so I'm just gonna pour them over into the broth with the turkey the turkey's in here already I put the turkey in there I'm just gonna put the beef over you want to drain off all the excess oil and stuff like that. The beef and the chicken foot is going to go in because that's got to still cook. See if you had a pressure pot, this will probably cook faster. Or a crack pot. But you need a, a big enough pot so all this stuff could hold. I'm going to put the chicken, the chicken in last. The last meat I'm going to put in is, is a chicken, actually. But these here, the provision, that's going to go in last, last. But all these other meats have to get in there. Just turn this off. The flavor in there is going to be so amazing. Are we didn't even add, started adding our seasoning as yet, really. We just added seasoning to the meat. Let me show you guys. Let me bring this to the front. So far, our pot is almost full. It's just, and we still have a lot of stuff to add. So that's why I like using a very big pot. See, that's gonna cook. I'm just gonna cover this and let this simmer. For they have the tripe in here, you have the beef, you have the chicken foot. All the stuff is gonna cook. And this is very healthy for you. You know, because a lot of you guys know I have sickle cell, so I like eating a lot of healthy foods now. You know, when I was younger, I never used to like eating onions and tomatoes, but now, I'm old, I love all this stuff. And you guys remember this here was the first thing that we added in. This is a split pea. The split pea is, is now getting, if you mash it, if you take the spoon and you mash it on the edge, you will see that it's getting soft. And this is exactly what you want. I'm just going to let this cook a little more. Until everything else is, all, all these is finished peeling and um, the chicken. And then I'm going to add in the broth from the split pea into the soup. That's really going to bring it up a notch. So you guys stay tuned. I, I love how you guys are bearing with me. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> so, yeah. What I'm going to show you now, I'm going to cut up these provisions. There's this over here. I'm going to show you how I'm going to peel the cassava. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Okay, I'm just going to use this small knife to pierce it like that, down the middle. And then you kind of, now you can buy this frozen, right? But I would not advise you to buy this frozen. Because there's a lot of preservative in the frozen one. So fresh is always better. I mean, everyth everything fresh is always better and... This may take a little longer to like peel, but it's very easy watching it. You get your knife there, you get a small enough knife where you can grip it, and you basically pull in. And this is how I peel my, my yuca or cassava. So easy. So easy. See that? I'm just gonna set this aside and peel the others and come back and show you how I did. Now this is my split pea over here. It's still whole but it's very soft. If you touch it, it's gonna be very soft. So I'm just gonna turn the split pea off, right? I turn that off and this is boiling. This is getting thick you know and I'm just gonna pour that in here you wanna be careful see all my split feet this is gonna mash completely up in here and let that cook the chicken foot the tripe everything is cooking the cow heel the beef let all that stuff cook 
I'm going to start seasoning this in a few minutes. I'm still working on my provisions over here. I just cut up the cassava. I'm going to work on the sweet potatoes and the potatoes, plantains, the edos. And then I'm going to show you how to make dumplings from scratch. Stay tuned. This is my edos. And you can just peel this like a normal potato or so. Now, let me tell you something. The first time I made soup, right? And I came into contact with this. When I finished peeling it, I was like, I was about to throw it away because it felt a little slimy. Me not knowing the edo is normally slimy. Just how it, it feels a little slimy. But it's very good because that's how the texture of it is. Not too slimy. But this stuff is very healthy for you. And this is important that I eat healthy because this help, helps me with my um, sickle cell disease. I'm going to cut this up. Cut my head all up. I'm going to put this in some cool water. Because I don't want them to get brown. So I'm just going to put them in some cool water. I'm going to rest them in the water. I'm going to rest these in the water until I'm ready for, to cut these. Because I have to cut everything up. I'm just going to continue with my edos. This is how edos look. But I think they call it a different name over here in the U.S. i got to find that name for you guys. So that when you guys go to the market or wherever you go in, you'll find the right thing. But you could use any um, root vegetable, any type of provision. It don't have to be these same things that I'm using. But these are some of the stuff that we use back home in Guyana. Everything is going into the water. And if you look at the water, it's very dusty. That's because of the the skin. The skin of these vegetables. So I'm going to wash them off after. But I'm just putting it in the water so it won't get... I'm going to start putting some seasoning in there. I'm going to put this. Maggie. This is pretty much chicken seasoning. I'm going to put some more onions in here. Some garlic powder. Some garlic. And the cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put a few cloves of garlic in here. So I'm gonna take my garlic and put it in there. I'm gonna peel it. Some onions. I'm gonna put a lot of stuff for flavor. My plantains is cooking. <laughs> Anyways, yes, this soup is gonna be massive. I want you guys to share this video, favorite it, all of that. Now a lot of people be asking me for recipes. Um, I'm a cook. I don't really measure stuff. I just go by taste. So when you're cooking, you should go by taste also. This is some garlic I'm putting in here. Or just look at a video and just see how I demonstrate it. You put how much stuff you want to put. You got to keep... I season the meat, the beef, and I season the, the chicken ahead of time. But right before... So I didn't put any seasoning in the in the soup until now because the meat already had chicken and when that's boiling and cooking all the flavors are going to come into the soup. So I want you guys to look at the video. The, all the recipe is right here, right in the soup. <laughs> the recipe is not in the soup. The recipe is in the video. So just look at it. In the in inner culture we, we would take a sample like this blow it, put it in our hands, we'll put it in our hands, oh my gosh, and taste it, oh my gosh, now I told you guys I didn't put no seasoning really until I just put this polo seasoning, but that stuff there, let me fix this, yeah, that stuff there is absolutely amazing, this hair tastes so good, that turkey really gives it a good flavor also. But you don't have to put a turkey. This is good. This is really good. I'm not even just saying that. This flavor in the soup already from the chicken foot, the beef have good flavor. I have that ginger, the garlic, the onions. Oh my. Ooh. Very healthy. Very, very healthy for you. Um, so I'm going to continue cutting up my, my um, provisions. Cover this back a little bit. I want that beef to cook nice and tender in there. And now I'm going to cut up my plantains. 
after my plantains, that's about it. I already cut sweet potato. You know, I have one more leaf there, but I'm just going to wash them. Leave them until I'm ready to put it into the soup. I hope you guys are liking this video. I mean, it's not really bam, 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 but I'm just showing you guys step by step what I would do. This soup don't need nothing else. I'm not even going to lie. When I put the provision in, I might just got to put a little more salt. But in terms of any more seasoning, all the salt, it don't need it. Because it's already flavorful. You know? But I like garlic and onions, so you could add that. This is yellow plantain. This is not a green plantain. Let me tell you, my dad, when he used to cook soup back in Guyana, he would always use, hold on. My dad would always use green plantains. And I hated it. I don't know why people would put green plantains in soup. I mean, it's good for you, right? But it's not sweet. I love these when you fry them with a little ketchup, a little salt. Some eggs, maybe. But this here is what I would instruct anybody to put in this soup. The sweet plantains. It's a lot better. That's just my opinion. But also, right, I was going to mix it with the sweet plantains and the green plantains. But nah. I just want to do it this way. I'm just going to use the sweet plantains. I'm going to use all of them. Because I, I love sweet plantains in soup. You know, green plantains are like that when you frying it for breakfast. I would fry it up. Like I just mentioned. Salt and you're ready. I'm not talking about the plantain chips. It's more like plantain french fries. But the plantain version. Just cut these up. Cut a couple of inches. You don't want them too big. everything now I want you guys to see this this is already overflowing this feels like a couple of pounds just in provision I know I have the water but I'm gonna pour that out it feels like a couple of pounds so um I look at the soup already it's already almost pretty much to the top ooh we in trouble that's why I like using my huge pressure pot but not here. I'm gonna finish off my final planting. I'm enjoying making this soup for you guys. And I hope you guys really appreciate the effort. Because um I really try to please my fans, my viewers. I know sometimes it may take a little longer for me to make a video now. But trust me, I have so much stuff going on. I just wanna be, I just wanna be, I just wanna be successful. And that's true. So, I gotta take the time and do what I gotta do. Because I just wanna be successful. So my soup been cooking for a little while now. Over an hour. I'm gonna add my chicken into the soup. Chicken is raw, and this is gonna cook pretty fast. I don't know how that provision is going in here. I know I'm going to have to get another pot and just like pour, pour some over. This is what brings the flavor. All these meats together and the seasoning. The flavor is going to be amazing. I'm going to let the chicken cook in here for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You know, this is going to come up to a boil. It's getting happy. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys how happy this thing is. Now look at that. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? The soup is good. Look at this. 
all this is just meats in here. Different things. Now, I, some people are not going to eat all this stuff. You choose whatever meat you want to put in here. But this, like this here, is real good. I wish you guys could taste it. But I know you guys will be able to taste it when you make it. Now, um, I'm just going to let that cook. Right? And, um, I'm going to make some dumplings for you guys. I recall it duff. I'm going to make some dumplings for you guys and show you how I'm going to do that. I washed my vegetables out over there. And I have my yuca here. I'm now cutting up. I'm cutting up smaller than this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most important part of this soup. The dumplings. So I have some flour in this bag. You can use whatever flour you want. I'm just going to pour a little bit of flour over into here. Not a lot. I don't measure. Some sugar. I'll mix it into here. And get some water from the top. Room temperature water. Pour it into there. Are you guys paying attention? Are you guys paying attention? I'm just going to mix it in. I'm going to need a little more flour. I'll put a little more flour. Nothing much. Normally, we do this at the very end because this is just going to take about three or three to five minutes to cook. When you put in a provision in there, right? And the chicken and everything is finished cooking in the soup. Then you drop this in on the last part. You know, just take your hand and do that. But I'm doing it with a spoon because I can't. I'm going to form it into a bowl. This is really soft. Alright. And you're going to take small pieces like this. Very small because this is going to blow up. Just small pieces like that. And you make small dumplings. You get the point. Let's do that. And when it's ready to go in, I'm gonna holler. Hey, what up, what up, what up? My soup is almost finished, but I'm in trouble. Because the provision is not in as yet. And the soup is already to the top. And I can't find a different pot. But anyways, the show must go on, or the cooking must go on. Isn't that so? Let me bring this up closer. Right. Alright. All right, so I have my yuca. I'm gonna put it in now because the chicken is pretty much cooked already. Fast cooking. I'll put a little bit of that yuca. We rinse them to my countertop, and yes, it's clean. All right. Some edibles. I'm going to put some sweet potatoes. Some regular potatoes. Sweet plantains at the bottom. A 
I've washed all these greens and I cut up some carrots and the carrots is going to go in everything is going in together because everything is going in together because I decided to cut them smaller so it's going to cook evenly no big deal alright I'm just going to put whatever could fit I want my carrots very colorful This soup is not a quick meal, it takes time because there's a lot of flavor and there's a lot of stuff that um, goes into this. So, booyah! As you guys can see, what's going on here? I'm not going to fold a pot anymore because it's pretty much to the top. to the top but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let that cook right and I'm gonna take my crock pot and take off some of this broth put it in there and then let my these cook in a in the crock alright since my pot is overflowing I took my crock pot I'm gonna put the remaining vegetables in here it's gonna cook right up in here all these stuff is going into the crock pot And you won't believe it. The crack pot is already full. Carrots and everything, everything is going in here. Right? Look at that beautiful color. Beautiful color. I'm only putting it in here because, as you guys can see, over here, we have a situation. It's, it's really full. And the dumplings are not in yet. So I'm just going to take a bowl. Right? and transfer some of the water from here over into here it's going to be the same thing you don't have to add any more salt or anything like that so I have a little bowl here I'm just going to scoop some water out if some greens come out that's okay scooping the water over into the crock pot alright because you want to create room for these dumplings you dig? Let me show y'all how I can work magic. You don't need to, if something like this happened to you at home, no need to panic. No need to panic at all. It's going to be okay. Watch it that. That's magic. That's magic. And this here, you could use this if you don't want to eat all that meat. Bam. You set it over there, right? My crap pot is here. You have the, the broth and everything. Cover it, right? I cover that. And then I'm going to push this over into the corner right here. See that? You don't have to trouble this. This is going to cook probably an hour, two hours, however long that takes to get this tender. And then we're going to focus on this right now. This is what we're going to focus on. And this meat. Look at that chicken foot. It's so soft. The cow heel. Soft. The beef. The tripe. Look at the tripe. This was that tripe. Let me zoom in right here for you guys. I'm trying to do all this stuff for my viewers. Look at that tripe. I never liked this stuff growing up in Guyana. Growing up in Guyana, I never liked this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The vegetables and everything is pretty much cooked. I'm just going to add in these dumplings. Just press them at the top there. Anyway, around, all around the pan, the pot. This is very simple. And what gives these dumplings flavor is the soup. That's it. You got that cook. I 
and this surprised me. The sweet potatoes, it got so soft in no time. Not even 15 minutes. I'm just going to cover this. I'm going to turn that off in about 5-6 minutes. Dumplings should be finished and the soup should be done. After 2 minutes guys. After 2 minutes, look at the dumpling is, is raising. From that tiny thing, it's getting big. All these issues are the dumplings. See that? The flavor is going to be really good. Everything here is pretty much finished. I'm just going to let the dumpling cook, cook for about 4 more minutes. Cover it up. You could just cover this up, turn off the fire, and it's finished. I'm gonna let it cook for about two more minutes. Still got my veggies over there. That's probably gonna take up about an uh, hour and a half in here. Maybe an hour. Who knows? But this is important. You could just take out the vegetables from here and mix it with your soup here. Because there's no meat in that one. But I hope you guys enjoy this meal. Enjoy the episode. I'm gonna plate it. And show you guys the finished product. So all my loyal viewers who have been waiting for this soup. This is the soup. I'm going to turn the fire off now. And let that sit there. Just let that sit. Let it sit for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long you want. And then you plate it. But now it's about 5.30 in the morning. Saturday morning. And I'm going to... Get ready to go out. Yes, I said it. I have some stuff to do this morning. I have to go shipping. Ship some stuff. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to relax for about... What time is it? 6.30? I'm going to relax for about an hour. And then I'm going to go. But that's the soup. I'm going to cover this up. It's time for me to relax. I'm just going to take up some soup. First, I'm going to start with a dumpling. Very perfect. Some of this wonderful broth. I'm going to eat this soup for my breakfast because I've been up all night. And it's now about 7 a.m. I have some chicken foot here. Sweet plantains. The potatoes, the sweet potatoes. Just a little bit of everything you want to get. That chicken. Here's that chicken. Um, you have beef at the bottom. You gotta really check you how the the cow heel is so tender that everything mesh. This soup, oh my god, just a scent alone. If you wanna search better, you could get your normal pot spoon and just let it go in there. I know I have a bunch of beef a bunch of beef in here, but hold on. I'm gonna get it better with this. Yep. There's a go with that beef. Um, we have the tripe. Remember that tripe? Everything is in here. I have a piece of tripe and a piece of turkey just there. This is my soup. This is my soup. guys so my soup is finished and since I'm eating it for breakfast I'm gonna eat it with bread so dip it absolutely amazing dumplings I'll show you guys look at my dumplings it's really hot it's really hot so you want to make it cool mm. 
So good. Since I have stitches in my mouth, I have to take my time. And the bread, good with it. Join me for the next episode in Andy's Kitchen. Bye-bye.